are live, broadcasting live. This is the Conversation Room 101. Make sure it's only adults in the house. I need your mind to be open, prepared, and relaxed. Welcome to our home. Take your shoes off. We got some rules we need to go over. Be kind. No cursing in the chat. If you want to curse, call in. And no shouting out other channels. That's a no-no. We got one other rule. There is no judging our guests. It will not be permitted. Zero tolerance. And if so, you want to do that, guess what? We got security. And we will escort you out. Because over here, hashtag we don't care. We're going to be one big family. We're going to laugh together sometimes. We're going to cry. But we definitely going to pray. I thank the Lord above for everything. I lift him up and give him the glory. But you guys, right now we're going to get our popcorn and then we're going to see what's going on. And let me just park my car and I'll be in there in a minute. I see you soon. The Copyright Disclaimer Act. The Copyright Disclaimer Act under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news, reporting, teaching, scholarships, and research. Fair use is used permitted by copyright statutes that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. Tanika Shanetta, the plus size doll. Do you like to shop online but hesitate because of the uncertainty about sizing and the quality of some items? Mm. Have you came across an outfit that you love to rock, but girl, you want to know more about the company and how their items run first? I get it. Check out Tanika Shanita, the plus size doll on YouTube for the latest updates in plus size fashion and styles. She does the reviews that you can use. Timing is of the essence, but she will reach out to any company if she's not already signed with them and get that item or a similar item to try it on first and provide that honest review on sizing, quality, and shipping. She does it all and often can get a discount code exclusively for her subscribers. So subscribe now and shop with confidence knowing if you would size up, size down, or true to size. She also reviews wigs, bundles, hair products. Like I said, she does it all. Measurements are in the description as well as the contact information for business inquiries or collapse. So subscribe today to be a part of the dollhouse where everything is big, bold and beautiful the link is in the description box down below hey family how is everybody doing thank you guys for showing up today is wednesday it is cinco de mayo day happy cinco de mayo everybody um, I'm glad that you guys showed up. I'm always happy when I see family in the building. Um, we got Daniel in here, Taylor Taylor, Hyundai Alla, April, Gulf Coast Girl, Mary Martins, Z Davis, Sonia Watts, Real Deal, Andrea Risner, Stacia Hart, Stasha, Stasha Hart. Your stuff is on the way, girl. I got that stuff out today. So you'll be getting your, your gift in a couple of days. I will probably send you guys the tracking number so you don't have to call me. I'll take a snapshot of it and I'll send it to you. So if you have any problems, that's what you got to do. You have all the information there. So all I did get that out today. That's the only thing I got done because I got hit with problems, problems, problems. So Anyway, you guys, we're a little bit early and I wanted to get in here and get on with it. I I, I just don't want to make a long live. I know you guys today is Wednesday, but it is an open platform. It is going to be um, share, 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 share. Um, I didn't want to put the boy's name out there because everybody take off running. But if you guys are family, you're going to come in here and we always come together. So I don't want people to come just because it's the California City Boys 
or such that that's the only time they come. You know, you know, no, come, come, come always. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, what is the announcements that I need to make? You need to start out with a prayer today, Candy Richardson said. Okay, Candy Richardson, call on in and you do the prayer. Come on, Candy. Come on up. Call me. You know my number. Hey, Tina T. Thank you for the super chat. We'll start off with a prayer. Candy, Candy Richardson's going to lead us. That's what you guys be doing to me. I haven't even got set up yet. Come on, Candy. Call on in. Come on, sister. Don't be scared. She said, I ain't calling in. I'll start with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us all together today. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for giving us everything that you have given us, especially your promise in the blood of your son. Thank you for everything. Let everyone that has ears hear. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Here she called. Come on. Come on, sister. <laughs> Hey, SB. Hey, go ahead. All right. I just want to start off by saying, bless you, the mods and the family, and everyone that's in here in the chat today. And I pray that God guide us, watch our tongues, and just be on the same page. And there's so much stuff going on right now. We just want to put God first. And that's all I wanted to say. I just want us to be blessed today and every day. Thank you. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Candy. You guys be putting me on the spot. Um. So I I I did have time to think about a lot of stuff, and um. I told you guys earlier this morning, I will share with you some information. Usually, I put a, a, a commercial out or a little clip ad and say, get in here. We're going to share some information. And everybody come running in. But you notice I didn't do that because I want the real people to hear what I have to say. And I think that everyone is in here needs to hear without all the fighting and the negativity. Um, trying to remember what all the um, things I needed to share with everybody. I'm going to give some people, it's just now 501, so I'm going to give some people some time. Hey, TJ, how you doing? Thank you, Moz, for showing up and uh, helping out. Uh, Virgo Grand is in the building. Tina, Virgo Grand is in the building. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. And then we got Virgo Grand. All right. Thank you for the super chat. Let me make sure if I can find this. Hey, yes, yes. I want to thank Candy for calling in and not being so scared. You guys tell me to do it all the time. Y'all do it too. Matter of fact, I'm going to spend some time today just going over some stuff because I feel like um, I'm moving because we can't go to church still here in my town. Well, my church, I, I'm pretty sure there's some churches that still open for my church. Um, you know, I'm kind of missing that fellowship and, and all of that. So, um, I'm just going to spend some time with, with the Lord this evening. So I want to get off of here as soon as possible, finish with dinner. We're going to have tacos and then, um, just, um, you know, spend some time with the Lord. Um, uh, there's some things I need to look at, but I'm going to share some with, 
everybody that's here. And um, this is not for, and I believe that the people that are here is true family. I believe that every one of you guys that's in here right now, and, and I know we got some people that is not family. They're just lookers or they're just in the bushes because the minute that I said that I have spoken to on the biological mother side and the biological father side, people took off running. Cause, okay. First it was like, well, who did you speak to? Which side of the family was it? See you guys, this is why sometimes we can't say nothing. And the first thing I get is a text message that says, well, she only said this or she only said that because I said it this morning. I said, I was going to tell you guys uh, that one of our, our admins and myself been reaching out, been reaching out, been reaching out, basically begging. Hey, Danae, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Let me just give you a dance real quick. I do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let me take that off. And. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you for the super chat. I see you in the building. I see you came on in here. She was like, oh, I got a little something, something for you. Give it a little love. I love you too, Tammy. Always in the building supporting. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Okay, I want everybody to know if I lock this video down, it's probably because maybe something will be said or in the chat that I don't want to be connected to, okay? So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm not going to be on here long. So here we go. So... I will tell you first, we've talked to two people and um, one is on the bio mother side and one is on the bio father side. Now, I'm going to, I'm not going to share the name of on the bio father side. Okay. Okay. And there's a reason why, because I don't want people to go and be like, why you say it is and say that or, or, you know, get them fighting in the family because somebody said something that made a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Peggy Toe. Thank you for the super chat. I see you in the building. She said, I appreciate you, SP. Thank you. I appreciate you too, sister. Thank you for the super chat. You are going to hear, yes, you guys are going to hear some new information that is now confirmed instead of what is real, what is fake, what is not true. So it's, it's really not up to debate. It will be true because I do have the receipt. I do have the receipt. I just want you guys to know. Okay. So if you want to try me and say, it's P, you lying, I have to play the whole tape so you can hear it. I wouldn't do it just because somebody saying you lying because you want to hear it. No, it would have to be, you know, on the bio father side or the bio mother side that says, you know, you're lying. Then I will, I will say, no, this is what was said. And um, so I think that it will clear up a lot of misinformation, okay? 
So first of all, and then I'm going to open up the floor. So it's an open platform and anybody can share. If you want to come on the live, you got to let me know because, well, I haven't set it up so everybody can come on the live. I could, but I just want to get through this, you guys, because I know somebody's going to take it in the wrong way and say, as P said, she was talking about the bio mama family. She was talking about this. She was talking about that. And I'm just giving you what was said. And I'm going to try to represent what was said in a decent way. Okay, you guys? Okay. So let me quit mumbling blah, 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 and let me get right down to it. Okay. So on the bio father side, I want you guys to know it has been confirmed that this is what was told to me. Like I said, I don't want to get strikes. I don't want people to get upset. I want to represent. I want to represent the people that can find it and spoken to me personally. Exactly what they said. So I reached out to this person, and they were kin. And there was something that I probably thought was wrong. So I was listening to it a little bit before I came on to make sure what was actually said. I, I went through half of it. So I may have to go through the other half. It may be some more that I have forgotten because it's been maybe about maybe five days ago. So anyway, I reached out to this person and the person said, do you know who I am? And I'm like, no, but I know you're part of the family. I know that. So will you will you speak? And and they said, sure. This is what they said. They said, sure. I I've been wanting to speak. I've been wanting to speak. I didn't know how to go about it. I said, hold on. I would open up my platform for you guys. You know, and I will guarantee you will not get all this mess going on. Some people may want to ask, ask ask you some questions, but you know, I think that our channel is pretty decent that you can come on without being bashed or anything. And and I think that he already knew and I said he already knew about our channel cuz he was in agreement. He was like, "Yeah, okay. Okay, that sounds good. I'll do it." I said, "Okay." And I said, I said, so we, we got to talking and I'll tell you what the whole conversation was, but we got to talking. And so I said, so are you the biological dad? Are you, are you one of the biological dads? Because I don't really know. I be reaching for stuff and I don't, Hey, you got to ask. And the young guy says, no, I'm not the biological dad. I'm kin to the biological dad. And I'm best friends to the other biological dad. Okay. So this person, I, we'll, just, we'll just name him X. X is kin to the biological dad and best friends to the other biological dad. I said, oh. Okay. And let me remind you, I hadn't finished listening to the other half of it because uh, it may be some more information I leave out today, not trying to, but I think enough, enough, you guys will get enough. So then I says, okay, so you're not a biological dad. He says, no, I'm just Ken. And I said, okay. And he says, you know, he asked me how did his name come up, and I, I shared with him how his name came up and out, and and why I thought who he was because I thought I had it. I I thought I knew, I thought I knew. <laughs> but anyway, the guy turns around and he tells me, he says, "This is what happened." He says, "He said, how did you get me mixed up with?" The, the biological dad. I told him, I said, I'm just reaching. He was very forth worth coming. He says, we 
He said, we, meaning a group, went out there on the 23rd. This is what he said. On the 23rd. This is what he said. Quote, on the 23rd, it was him, the biological dad, number one, biological dad, number two, and their girlfriends and, and their new girlfriends, and they were all out there. Then he said, I quote, Ryan went out there with her mother. I didn't know that. I didn't know her mother was there. But Ryan went out there with her mother. That's what he said. Okay. You guys got that? I didn't ask no questions. I just said, oh, okay. So um, he says, both biological dads was out there and he was out there, but they all showed up on the 23rd. I said, you guys didn't show up on the 21st? And he said, no. I, Mary, I didn't ask who was her mother, but he said her mother. That's what he said. That was news to me. That was a little nugget that I did not know. I was like, oh. Anyway, that's what he said. Um, then he said, um, he said, uh, I made sure to ask, you guys wasn't out there the 22nd, the 21st? He said the 23rd. Okay. So he said, we were talking about the hell, you know, like, you know, we're, we're trying to keep awareness of the boys for people to keep looking, uh, keep asking questions. He turns, around, you know, and we were talking about how good of a job Roro was doing. And he did nothing but give her all arms, accolades. She, she has presented the family way better than anybody could have expected. She's the one that's done the banners. She's the one why people are talking. She she is the face because they they already knew it was going to be all over the place. And she took initiative to be the face for the family. Okay, you guys? And he was very appreciative that she has did a very good job. And I said, yeah. I said, yeah, she has. Very. I said, but, I, I you know, I don't know how to understand because I have nothing but men in my family. You come to my family reunion, you're going to see like a hundred men and maybe three women because <laughs> we got men in our family. We don't have girls. We got boys. Even my grandsons, I don't have no granddaughters. We got boys. My brothers, we got boys in my family. You know, you don't hear me talk about my auntie too much because we got uncles and things of that nature. So I was saying to him, why none of the men are standing up? This is a lot to, to carry, you know, a lot to carry. And he was telling me that he, he wanted to. But I guess the family came together and they decided that Roll Roll would be the face so that things wouldn't get out of place. So that's probably a good reason why. Um, that's where I stopped listening to it for the second time. I can't remember five days ago. So I always go back and I listen. So anyway, um, I'll, I'll end that right there of our conversation, not meaning that it was the end of our conversation. You guys, you understand what I'm saying? Put a one in the chat. If you guys understand what I'm saying, it's not the end of our conversation, but I can't speak on no more because I can't remember no more. I would have to go back and listen to it again. And I didn't have time. So put a one in the chat. So if there's more, there's more that I need to share with you, 
You, you may miss it. I don't know, but I'm not trying to leave you no cliffhanger. I just didn't have time to listen to it. And I wanted to see, I wanted to see if I could have shared it with you guys without getting in trouble. But, you know, you know, you know, some people telling me to don't do that. If they don't believe you, they ain't got to believe you, but you should not have any problems sharing the truth. So that's what I'm doing. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. So we reached out to Ryan Dean herself. And um, we were asking her, uh, this was back in April. I think it was April the 8th. We had reached out to her and asked her, would she come on? And she was like, uh, uh, yeah, give me some time. Give me a couple of days. That's what she said. Give me a couple of days. So, you know, April the 8th to is now May the 5th. That's almost 30 days. It's three days shy, then 30 days, 27 days. So we have reached out to her again and said, hey, you, I mean, you kind of let us think that you was going to come on. So we, we've been waiting and we've been waiting. And, um, so she says, um, and I want to quote it, so just be patient. She says that she does not want to come on anybody's platform because, matter of fact, let me see here real quick. Let me. I don't think I could find it, even if I wanted to. I don't think I could find it, even if I... She don't want to come on anybody's platform because um, at this time, she believes the only reason why people want her to come on their platform is for views. You know how people say clicks and views. And so we reached out to her again and let, you know, we were letting her know that, hey, you know, this channel. This channel is. Wait just a minute, Tanika. Just wait. This channel is already an entity before this tragic incident has happened. And we were just offering our platform because people wanted to hear. We wanted to hear anything that you had to say or you tell your story. Because she had put on her Facebook that something about People will not like you and they haven't even heard your story. I'm the, I don't have word for word, so don't sit there and say, SP lied on me or such and such. I'm just trying to remember you guys because I don't really follow it. And if I've seen it, I'm just letting you know I've seen it. And it says something about people will dislike you and talk about you or something, and they don't even know your story. So we were asking her to share with us her story. And uh, so she says that she believes or she thinks that Why would she need to explain herself, I'm trying to remember word for word, why would she have to explain herself or to answer when the children did not come up missing with her? Oh, we said before then, we said before then 
you said on the news interview, you would do anything. You would do anything for your babies, your kids. You would do anything. And that's when she said, why does she have to come on and say anything? The kids, they did not come up missing with her. So um, then uh, we said that we will still support that and we will respect what you just said. And um, we will still try to get awareness out there and get justice for your, your children, your babies. Okay, that's what was said, you guys. That was what was said. Now, I know everybody was like, ooh, yeah, yeah, you know, it's not juicy, but it is the truth. Now, um, and I hope that if you have something negative to say, please on this channel, keep it to yourself because I don't want, I know you can say what you want to say or whatever, but we want to keep this channel where if they want to come on, some people have feelings over here. Some people have feelings over there. And if they got nowhere to go because you don't have a clean environment, don't expect anyone to come and talk or speak or anything. We can't have every channel doing this and doing that. And yeah, I may have did some things or said some things. Um, not, I wouldn't say wrong, but I would say uh, maybe more opinionated on um, ask, you know, asking certain questions or what is this over here? What do we see over here or something? And people may not like that because they may say, well, you might be blaming the bio mama or the bio family or, you know, the neighbor or whatever. No. You know what? I I asked the president, did, did you see the kids or what do you, I would ask anybody. I would ask anybody if I felt like, you know, maybe I, I can get an answer or something. So um, I would ask Wanda West. I would ask Trezell. I will. I will ask the neighbor. I would ask anybody. So I'm not pointing fingers at nobody. That is what was shared. So I shared it with you guys, and uh, that's what it is. Anyway, that's it. Tanika, you can call in if you want to call in. She asked, "Could she call in while I was speaking?" I didn't want to forget anything. Um. I just wanted you guys to know what was said. Oh, there's something else too. He did say that, and I'm not talking about Ryan Dean. He did say that there was a mix up in that by one of the bio fathers. He didn't say which one it was. Like the one was his best friend or his cousin, but I think he meant his best friend. He did say that the dad did not know that the child was being adopted out. And they were trying to get the boys. That's what was said, you guys. I'm glad somebody spoke. I'm glad somebody spoke. Um, let me get this girl in here because I don't plan to be on here. Uh, uh, oh, no. Let me see. Yes. Okay. So I know. Hey, this is SP. Hey, SP. It's Tanika. Hey, Tanika Shanika, the plus size dog. Yes, it's me. I was calling to give my thank yous and love to everybody that participated and supported the channel, to the donors, the people that donated the items for my giveaway. This everybody, I wanted to give my heartfelt thanks and appreciation. 
And yeah, that's what I wanted to call in to do. Right. Give a shout out to everybody. Let you know I really appreciate it, and it wasn't taken for granted or lightly. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you well, you're welcome. I'm glad. I hope you had a good time over there. I did. I had a great time. I was kind of nervous, and I didn't feel like people wanted to stay on long, so I didn't want to hold people too long. But yeah, but this was my first one, so I was kind of new at it. So it'll get better as we go on. And I just thank everybody for hanging in there with me and. Right. Yeah. So I won't hold up the show. I, I tried to catch you at the very beginning and I couldn't get to my phone time. Yeah. Sometimes we come on a little early because I want to get through some, some of the ads and people that's really family. They're going to be around, you know. Right. Right. So I have my first live tomorrow at six. So I'll be on. Okay. Anybody, anybody interested? So we'll be on there. We'll be talking fashion clothes, and I think I may talk a little bit about body shaming. A little bit. Body shaming. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, so six yeah. central time, right? Six central time. Yes, tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Talk to y'all later. All right. I'll, thank be the, I'll be in the chat. Okay. Bye. 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 Anybody want to call in? They can call in. We've 37 minutes into the live, you guys. Let's make it happen. Um, yes, 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 yes. Uh, Rowana says, you did a good job. Thank you for doing that for us, and I love your show, she said. She must be talking about Tanika Shanetta. Um, they've been through enough prayers for all of them. Yeah. We need to put the neighbors back in the hood. What? Okay. Um, so I know that, um, You guys may not think, but see, you're just going to always, in these cases, you're always going to get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And I mean, when we hear from the same people day day in, day out, and they're just positive, they're positive, they're positive, which is Roro. She's very, very positive. Um, she, you know, she'd be like, well, we're not going to worry about that. We we going to keep on doing this and doing that. And I, I love that about it. I really do. Take a oath. Okay. Hey, this is SP. Hello, is this SP? Yes. How you doing? I hadn't called in. This is Valerie from Bellflower, California. I got a new phone, so it's saying Miss Val or something. It's not saying the right thing. Okay. I've been trying to keep track. Uh, yesterday I was uh, distracted, and then Monday I had to go to my daughter's graduation. She graduated from uh, uh, Riverside Baptist College out there. The one that is in the army. Uh -huh. And I put my daughter, she's uh, working for governor. So, you know, uh, uh, people here in uh, Cali tell them, hey, Carolyn Roberts, hey, go for a first black female governor. Oh, um, your daughter's running for governor in California? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I sent you the uh, thing, the uh, email, the website. Oh, I did, but I didn't know who it was. And I, I look, that's your daughter. Your daughter's running for governor, California. Yes. What's her name? Carolyn Roberts. Carolyn Roberts. When uh, when do, when are they going to be voting? Well, uh, she's trying to get it because they're trying to uh, call Governor Newsom because uh, you put up people on lockdown, but you had a restaurant, and she's not for that. You know, we uh, she has a teenage son, seventeen, and all this is gunfire, no jobs. And, just everything is going on. I mean, hey, I'm thinking about the baby, trying to figure out where these children are. But you know, on one of your, uh, on one of the uh, things that said someone was in Arizona. I don't know who that is or who it's kin to, but I, 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 I pray that they, they be found alive or soon, uh, because it's just. And I think you kind of got upset the other night, and I was praying for you. Somebody, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, misunderstanding you because you don't take no mess over there. So once they get that, uh, maybe they'll you know kind of understand the channel is not about mess; it's about business. Okay, the warriors. 
Yes. And I don't know what I am. I guess I'm just a, what, what am I? I'm, I'm not a mind. I guess his family. <laughs> you warrior. You a warrior. Yep. Because, okay. yep, you a warrior. Yep. Where are you coming to California? Uh, you know, wow, you're saying that, and you know, it's kind of weird because we're supposed to be going to Atlanta, and then um, uh, we're going down to Alabama, and then I think our next trip is going to be California. But um, we're just trying to wait for this COVID thing to go because they're making yeah. people do all kind of stuff to get on them planes now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, so yo, 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 they want you to show your shot record because I had both of your shots. Yeah. I had both of my shots. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be looking at them like, have you lost your mind? I wouldn't even go in the store. If I see somebody in the liquor store without a mask, I'll sit in my car and wait. I uh, say, so then uh, we went to uh, Outback yesterday for my daughter's graduation. I had my lights up, my candle lights off, sitting right there on the table. So that so so you got to show that you had the shot. Uh, uh, they say that they were going to start using that. It could be yeah. the flop. Okay. So I say, did you have yours? Well, kinda. You yeah, you got to take two, and well, you know how that goes. Yeah, well, don't take that Johnson and Johnson or AstraZeneca because uh, no. The Pfizer and the Moderna, those are the two that do not have a whole, whole lot of problems. Right. But when they say Johnson Johnson, I used to use Johnson Johnson baby powder, and they had already messed up mm -hmm. uh, with the females. So I say, no. I'm not trying to get my 17 year old grandson to make a, a video for you because that's one that plays 20 some instruments before he was even 15. Uh, say, because I say super chat every time. And I said, I'll be putting my little. Uh, uh, a super chat in, and I don't get my song. I'd be like, wait a minute. I didn't hear the super chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't play your, your song? No, that was good. But last month, and I think that, uh, I haven't did it this month, but twice. Last month, I said, oh my goodness, I don't hear the super chat. Because when I hear super chat, I'd be like, hey, I like this song. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll play it right now for you. Uh, you know, my baby's birthday is on the 7th, so we'll get my interview in on the book. Um, okay. Sometime after you we'll get your time for that. Okay. Well, we got time anytime. I'm a, I'm working on a commercial, and I've got to oh, get this yeah. commercial done. But other than that, you know, I'm going to have time. I'm going to have time. <clears throat> I'm finna work a 14-day shift. 14-day shift? Ooh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah, well, you got to get your rest. Yeah, but. You got to get your rest. But whenever you're ready, give me a call. Oh, I'm ready. You whenever you are at another seventh and no good because I started crying the other day and my daughter was like, Mom, it's gonna be okay. And then this morning I thought I didn't have money to go put her flowers out of her headstone. And I got upset about that, but the money came through anyway. I said, Well, thank you, Jesus. Uh, you know, it's on her birthday, Christmas. I, I'm trying to try to stay away from it, but you can't stay away from your kids. Whether they're here or not. Right. You right. know, so uh, the old grandson, I'm going to get him to make a, because like I say, I don't know if you want him on the drum, the tennis, because he got them six drums and maybe play to your foot that thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. You get your head up and don't let them get you down because uh, I was mad the other day and I tried to call him because somebody had upset you. I was like, hold up. <laughs> uh -uh. Wait a minute. That's cancer's going to go for that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But I'm going to go back to the chat and hey, listen in so I can see. But whenever you're ready, and, uh, you give me a call or okay. uh, I, I think you got my number or whatever. Yep, I uh, do. Okay. Well, hey, let me listen in and see what we got to say today. All righty. <laughs> okay, Ms. SB. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. So let's do that super chat for Val right there. Let's say super chat. Thank you for the super chat. And Soldier Girl's in the building, too. But let's get her. Let's get hers. Thank you for the super. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, and we got Soldier Girl. She's in the building. She done gave a super chat. It went up there. She said, Warriors for Children. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Soldier Girl. 
I like. Okay, I should have let him do his little dance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call that boy, <laughs> Mike Epps. I'm gonna call him because he's tripping. He need to call me back. I'll be bugging people. Uh, yes. Thank you, Valerie. Uh, thank you, uh, Soldier Girl, and thank you, everybody. Um, you guys, when you get information like that, uh, use it in a positive way. Because it looks bad when you use it in a negative way. And then people be like, well, you know, I got it from SP, but then people done added and subtracted and threw some cussing words in there. And I mean, if I if I present it to you in a positive way, then take it in a positive way. And so, you know, whether a person wants to hear what you have to say or not. It was all good that came out. I was happy. I was happy that she said anything to me, anything. And, um, you know, I get it. I understand. And, um, and hopefully that's why people will not say something. I want to say one thing before I get off of here. I'm going to get off of here. Uh, I'm still working on our May uh, special things, you guys. Like I said, I was trying to get me some sleep because all heck hit the fan last night. And I'm still not over. I'm still upset with myself. And only thing I'm upset with is I left something there. Uh, that's it. Other than that, it, it would have been okay. But um, anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I wanted to say, what was it? What was it? See, my mind playing tricks with me. You guys got to stay here for a little bit longer till I can remember what it was. Because it was important. Um, I seen something. Keep being great, SP. Oh, <laughs> you guys are something else. Uh, I seen somebody say something in the chat and I was going to, I was going to address it. Um, <laughs> um, oh, 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 got it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, he will give you memories. Thank you, Shalana. Philip, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. See, there? he's blessing me two different ways. I remember. And we got a super chat. Thank you. Hey, anyway, I wanted everybody to know, she said, yo, welcome. Thank ya. I wanted everybody to know five days ago, I think it's about five days ago, you can check it out for yourself. In Houston, Texas, they found 90 to 91 people in a house human trafficking, smuggling, and all that. Now, we were looking, we were over there going, hey, was there any kids over there? Was there any kids in the house? They found 90, 91. They may be off one. I don't know. In one house, in one house in Houston, Texas, you guys. Go look it up. Just just Google 90 people in a house in Houston, Texas, and you guys will see what I'm saying. They wouldn't show was they just smuggled from like maybe Mexico or something or whatever. It was like five women and the rest was all men. They said, we reached out and they said there was, the youngest was 21. We were trying to make sure, was there any kids in there? Was there any kids over there? We were getting our hopes up high. Was there any kids? Because a kid is better than no kid, you guys. So thank you, Sharon Stevenson. Thank you, Robin. Gary is in the building. Thank you. 
There's family done came up in here. They said, we in here, we in here, we in here. So, yes. So thank you, Sharon. Thank you for the super chat. And thank you, Robin Gary, for the super chat. She says, we love you, SP. Uh, love for the boys. Yes, we do. And thank you for the super chat. You guys, you know what? I'm getting ready to get off of here, but I want to say something. I'm going to get on off. So I was just sitting here thinking because you know how sometimes um, people will test the water. They'll put the hand there to see if it's warm, hot, cold, or whatever. And if we take this little bit of information that we have and we utilize it in the right way, then maybe the mom will come out and speak because what she's dealing with right now is she's been wronged by a uh, CPS. I mean, allegedly this is the story that something happened with CPS that they didn't give her a chance or they were just being mean. I don't know what the deal is or, you know, uh, whatever. Then, um, then her kids was taken away. So that's a lot of trauma. Then they were taken away again to another family which said, no, you don't get to see them at all. And then they were a shock that they're adopted. You guys thought they were fostered. They were adopted. And then, um, hold on, hold on. I got something else I, I remembered. So just hold on. And then um, the kids come up missing. And then some people believe, you know, they got something to do with her. She got her kid or whatever. And then whatever else. So with all of that going on, it is kind of a little, kind of, you know, hard to want to, you know, speak because you know, you're going to be ripped apart anytime you say anything. And this is why it will die out in time. It will die out. Anyway, there was something else I just remembered that the young gentleman told me, because I guess some people think that Roro was not Ken. He he uh, confirmed Roro is kin. Roro is kin. She is the brother of one of the dads. I, I don't, I mean, she is the sister or whatever, but she's kin to the family. I, I can't remember exactly how, but he said that Roro is his big cousin. That's what he said. Roro is his, his big cousin. I mean, Roro, she's his big cousin. And then the other thing he said, oh, the the lady that interrupted the news, uh, you know, when they were doing the interview, that is also their cousin. That is the sister of the brother. That's the sister of the brother right there. The one that interrupted. That's when he said the sister of the brother. The one that interrupted is the aunt, when she said, my nephews, you're supposed to take care of my nephews or whatever. So anyway, you guys, uh, I'm not going to try to remember anything else. I love you guys. I will see family. I will see you guys later on. All right. Be good. Be safe and be nice to each other. Bye.
you're not going to regret it. Are you a Warriors for Children? And she'll work with you. You can walk on the runway with this one, you guys. I guarantee it.